Are these flies? Okay. <laughs> That's so cute. Kind of cute. Okay. Let's play Last Bus Home. Hello and welcome to Holy New Place Short in your games. Today I'm going to play a game by Magic. It's about the last bus home. I mean, what is there to tell? Uh, you find yourself approaching a bus stop, it is late at night and the next bus to arrive is also the last one for today and you do not want to miss it. You know, honestly, it's a really good premise and it's kind of, it's not a big story trope. Like, there's not a lot of horror stories that revolve entirely on the bus drive, but it happens so often in movies, in crime movies, as well as in horror movies, that you have a bus scene, you know, where you're late to the bus or you miss the bus and then you're stuck. Because it's actually, it's terrifying. Even in real life, it's, it's not something you want to do. So let's dive right in, get this over with. I hope we have enough fare or a ticket or whatever, because that would also be really bad. You know, we, we get the bus and then we... Then we don't have any money for the for the ticket. There we are! <clears throat> Why did the bus... Oh man, this is so dark. This is realistic though, I think. You know, outside of the city, if there's no moon, it's actually, it's super dark. It shouldn't be this light here, but maybe there's like a hidden, hidden lamp light. La lamp light. About four minutes left. Okay. Are these flies? Okay. <laughs> That's so cute! Kind of cute. Okay. Do I want to go here? No, apparently not. Do I want to wander around or not? No. Okay, invisible wa walls, everyone. Also, in invisible tongue twisters, of course, you know. I usually I'm so clear and I never <laughs> twist my words. So this is the game, this is part of the game. I think I'm, qu I'm, qu I'm quite sure. <laughs> About three minutes left. Okay. <laughs> Can I sit down? No. Very accurate, apparently. I actually. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Hi. Ugh. Don't look at me. You're just, just a person waiting for the bus. Okay. Well, you came out of the corn. But, well, I guess I also came out of the corn. Hi. Um. Hel hello. Can we? No, we don't talk. Okay. About two minutes left. Okay. You know, people in trench coats coming out of the corn. Suspicious. And he's kind of, but not really watching me. Ugh. Two minutes left, okay. Hello there. Do Why are you out at night? Why do you care? It's none of your business. You don't want to talk, do you? No! No! How about this? I have a bottle of beer with me. Oh, that seemed creepier. No, I'm not drinking with strangers. Maybe that can change your mind. Totally not. It makes it more steadfast that I don't want to talk to you. Come on then, take a zip. No. <clears throat> you know what? I'm just, I'm just leaving. I'm just going here. Okay. <clears throat> I don't want to take a zip. Sorry, sorry. Any moment now. That's so creepy, you know, like here I have a zip of my beard, it's like, ew, no, thank you. Um, can I comfortably go somewhere where you're not? <laughs> Any moment now. You're making a mistake. Oh my god, now you're threatening me? Oh, okay. Oh my god, is the bus the evil? One of three endings, you made it home safely. Wait, there are more endings? Oh. About four minutes left. I can say yes? How do I say yes? 
I like the timing of this. This is really well paced. Because I think it, it's not like activated out of certain actions, but just based on just the waiting time. And then at a certain point in time, things happening. But it was very well done. Because that way it's more unexpected, you know, when he starts to talk. I love the flies. You're my only friend. You know what? I would have a beer with you flies, not with this, not with this person. Hey kid, what? What? Why are you out tonight? I can't say anything. I can't. You're not a talker, are you? No. I like about, oh, how about this? Yeah, we, we already read that. I like that about, like, pixel faces. They're so weird because they don't look really creepy, but then the longer you look at them, you know, because then your brain, your mind makes up things. So I'm a kid and he offers me a beer. I know you want some. Now I'm like, psh, psh, psh. <laughs> don't speak. <gasps> you went missing your body was never found what okay i mean that's kind of the cool thing in the city <clears throat> you never really are in an environment that is so bad like okay there's in industrial areas you know where you just have like a lot of car sellers for some weird reason and then just a lot of office buildings and only office buildings um so when you're too late there then it's really it's completely empty there's no one around but as a citizen you barely ever at all hang out in these places and even then it's very likely that there's like security personnel you know protecting whatever the assets or whatever um and in general in a city you just don't have this you know this complete emptiness and i kind of you know i prefer I always say, you know, I would rather be scared outside than inside because I think this claustrophobic feeling, you know, of not being able to get out of the flat or whatever, it feels like worse because outside of nature I can still pretend that I could run away, which is ridiculous because I'm such a bad runner, I could never, but in my mind, in my fantasy, you know, I can and I feel more comfortable with it. And maybe also because I feel like, well, at least I'm dying in nature and I see the sky or whatever. <laughs> maybe it's one of those weirdly, not even romantic, but, you know, half gla glass half full kind of things. Okay, so now we ignore this asshole completely. But we will also not get into the bus. <sighs> yeah, this is a cool environment because it's so simple. But it's just creepy because you can't look beyond. Just imagine. And now we know he's a murderer. Pfft. Can I get run over by the bus? Oh, let's try this. Secret ending! You were run over by a bus! Absolutely tragic! <laughs> okay, last one. I will I will skip the boring parts that you've seen before. Last one, I will not go onto the bus because I think that's the third ending. Sorry, I had this idea, like short notice, that you know, what if I do this? Oh, this is- I love this. This is so cute. This is so short, but it's kind of amazing. That's what I think. So if you're an indie developer, you know, you don't need much. You need one cool idea and you need to make sure that you can execute it in a way that it's a smooth gameplay, that the story is conveyed in a clear way, you know. Don't try to be too ob obtuse, like you don't have to spell everything out, you know, because in this case, like, 
the dialogue is really cool because of course he's shady and then you also have this thing where when he enters you have this weird you know music background where it's like okay this is a weird person you know this is a scary person um but it doesn't spell it out right also with the ending text you know you you went missing your body was never found so first of all your body was never found so you're dead um but that's it there's no big explanation of what happened to you and that it in my like personally that is more effective to me because then my mind fills out everything because i've read enough you know i've heard enough to kind of make up my own horrible story um and it's still really perfectly uh explained because there is this thing where people try to over explain things you know like with an end text that's like a whole paragraph um but i think this is perfect this is all you need and it looks great Ugh. <laughs> wow oh you know if you just stand here she's, she's just suddenly there that's also creepy um <clears throat> it looks really good because it's it's everything you need you know for a creepy environment everything you need for a creepy dialogue and then with the end text you know everything you need for just to fill your mind with horrors that's that's so cool and it runs smoothly i think that is very important in indie games it's beautiful really gorgeous your kids seem to love it nowadays i didn't see that before beer nowadays old man from which timeline do you come i don't think that nowadays kids are into beer right i mean i i feel like beer is a very old-fashioned like okay a homebrew but i don't think he has like a homebrew from brooklyn or whatever <laughs> you know but in general i don't think that like a can of beer is something that can excite today's youth super weird dude super weird <clears throat> but perfect like i i love this dialogue okay and now i don't get on to the bus but i also don't drink the beer oh i hate this i hate this that i don't get on the bus i get anxious i'm not even the person you know i'm just playing as the person like i don't like this but he's also not getting onto the bus. That is, oh, this is horrible. Oh, whew. yes, you died. Your corpse was discovered the next day. <laughs> oh, because he had to inca incapacitate me because I didn't drink the beer. Oh, this is great. Okay, I think we're done here. Gorgeous, loved it. Yes, thank you so much, Magic. You know, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. A short game. Also, usually I'm not one for I play all the endings, but in this case, because it was so short and I was so interested um, that I just wanted to do this. Yeah, this is how you do it. Thank you so much, Magic. Thank you to the viewers for watching me, you know, getting killed a few times, three times. But the first, you, you gotta be fair, the first time, you, you know, the actual, the official natural hula new playthrough i survived because i got on the bus and i didn't drink the beer so you know also if you're new to this channel you know you you're welcome to subscribe and i promise you you don't have to drink a beer and get murdered by me to enjoy this channel like even you know even if you don't subscribe i will not try to murder you at the bus stop you know at the last bus stop not even at the first bus stop or any bus stop in between i will just you know what I'm generous today. I will just not murder you at all if you don't subscribe. But you know, you can still, which is kind of a argument for subscribing, you know, because yeah, I will, I will not, you know, there's no fear behind it. I mean, unless you mean the fear of watching me play horror indie games. So subscribe, right? Anyways, I hope you had a good time. <laughs> I hope you had a, have a great day and I uh, hope to see you soon. Bye. This is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews and let's plays.